Hey, movie geeks, time to get your geek on. I'm Greg Easterbrook, and I'm a cinematographer, director of photography for uh, primarily features and TV, but also I do some commercials as well. 120 frames is kind of a new world for cinematographers. It's, it's kind of moderate slow-mo. Uh, in, in the 24 frame per second world, shooting at 120 frames produces an image that's relatively slow. Um, a lot of the newer digital cameras will shoot 120 frames, and that's probably why Ang Lee settled on that. Um, but that's a tremendous amount of, of frames per second, so it reduces what's called image blur or blur track. So when you have an object or a person moving across the frame in 24 frames per second, they produce a, a blur across each frame that trails the movement as they move across the frame. At 120 frames per second, because the, the instance of, of photographing the still photograph that's going to become the series of photographs that you know, imitate movement, because that instance is so small, you're doing 120 frames in a second as opposed to 24, your blur track is actually substantially reduced. And so what that does is it gives you a, a very hyper-real kind of look. The edges of things are very pronounced, and things don't smear as they move across the frame. They, they stay high, highly visible. You can create the same kind of look in a 24-frame or 30-frame environment with uh, using uh, lighting called strobes. And what strobes do is they they will pulse light in per frame of the, of the film camera or the, or the camera's rotation. And the pulses match the rotation so that basically you're taking a sequence of high-speed flash photographs. And, um, and so uh, using, using pulses like that or using strobe lights like that that are programmed strobes will also give you that real hard edge, no blur track kind of, kind of look. Um, similar to it, not exactly the same. Um, but 120 frames does that. It, it, it also gives you a tremendous amount of data and information in the, um, in the image because you're able to cram 120 frames worth of information into every second as opposed to just 24 frames into every second. And so you get a tremendous amount of detail and you get a, a real sharpness and immediateness uh, to the image. And um, if you shoot at 120 frames, and then play it back at 120 frames, the motion looks normal, but because it lacks that blur track and it has those harder edges and, uh, and all, then you get, get something that looks very surreal or hyper-real. I'm very interested to see what Ang Lee's gonna, gonna get out of that. Now, you, you transpose that over to a 3D environment. 3D, using two cameras in tandem that are matched by your, what, who's, this guy who's called your stereographer, and your stereographer is your person who monitors the stereoscopic effect, the 3D effect of the two cameras. Two cameras running at 120 frames is not only gonna give you a three dimensionality to the image because you've got two cameras that are slightly off axis that give you a, a little shape and presence to what you're shooting, but you're also gonna get the effect of 120 frames, which is really hard edges, no blur track, and hyper reality. So you're gonna get something that's I mean, it's going to be fascinating to see how, how incredibly real and, and immediate and sharp and, and saturated and solid that the images are going to be because there's not going to be any blur and you're going to get a three-dimensionality to them that you can't get with just a single camera. It's an exciting thing to see and I can't wait to see it.